Hello, how are y'all doing? Pretty good. Um, I am a spoken word artist. I got a couple of pieces here for you today. Um, I, I'm actually new to this venue, so how much time do I have usually? Seven minutes. Ten minutes? Seven. Seven. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> well, in that case, I've got three, maybe four for you. Two are off the top of the head, and two are on paper. I'm going to do the two off the top of my head first, so without further ado, this is called Wallflower. I enjoy the power to observe, preserving reservation, backed by an acute sense of observation, mind to matter on all but the current situation. I'm a wallflower blooming, won't you join me in my station? It's quiet, a little tense, but my sense is serene. I'm shy, quiet, laid back, and understanding of the scene. I socialize, but flirting skills are just a little green. Don't have much to say, but when I do, it's what I mean. A man of action when it comes to pulling for the team, but otherwise I tiptoe spider silk gymnastic beams. A diamond in the rough is arrogant, a hidden gem. It seems the thorn in my side. Don't be afraid to pick the stem. Not that I ponder an opinion or care less about than those who chastise, criticize, or try to get stuck in the memory of minds that fathom phantom oceans deeper. Not to say I'm picture perfect. Do consider me a keeper. I employ the power to observe. I'm like a turtle from my shell to hell and back. I've conquered all my social hurdles. Despite the fact that I'm often seen and seldom heard, I'm a wallflower blooming in the soil of my circle. The title of this is called Schizoid. <laughs> you may not get it, but it makes so much sense to me. Fact is, I live through scenes that no one else can hear or see. It's interesting, but most of the time I wish my mind would leave me be. My existence makes the moves of life jump right out the screen. It's quiet on the outside, but inside my thoughts are fractured streams, haunted by the sound of ghastly laughter and ghostly gleams. So surreal at times, reality comes undone by the seams. To put it blunt, the Elzebub has a devil put aside from me. Life, these strange happenings occur without warning, make signals, confusion, paranoia. Man, my thoughts are swarming. The demon demeanor appears to make itself way less than charming. Harming psyche, unlike the sound of certain things that seem to soothe. Mother, may I have a pill, please? My consciousness is on the loose. I fight my sanity to keep it daily, nail and tooth. Consolation comes from ther therapy, the stage, the meds, or sound booth. Strike me with a skits fit, herald me without alarm. Come to me as silent as the wind, but as violent as a tropic storm. Until the day I cease to breathe and make food for the worms. So I take reprieve, musing my words at full throttle, because life's intense when you live with sanity in a bottle. Woo! I only got one more for you tonight. The title of this is called Dervish. It may seem a little short, but yeah. Know of a woman whose trials and tribulations trump the treasury of my existing experience. Exactly how many miles may she, sh uh, may her shoes have seen to see? I cannot say. Though to this day she remains a pinnacle of strength. At length I could go on about her battles of mankind, but I'll say this: once taken, twice shaken, thrice broken, her heart seemed no longer open. Know of a woman slightly off her rocker with son and daughter sitting in ashes and shamblers. Her recent years were worse for wear. Occupation as well as patience obliterated by numerous occasions. The situation seemed dire until along came a spider. Creeping down the spire of memory's lane, this dame had become enchanted and panicked frantically at the way that they danced. Her mind enhanced by the elder flame of the plans that she had, uh, the plans of her trip that had become consuming. And this is the closest I have ever seen her swooning. Know of a woman, or so you may think you know. Thank you for your time.